where where did it go hey guys welcome back to a new video i hope you're all doing really well i thought i'd film in a different setup today because as you can tell from the title we're finally reviewing the makeup by mario foundation and the new concealer if you have the kindness in your heart please like this video because your girl paid 17 pounds to get this delivered to the uk because don't ask me why this is not available here which is why i haven't reviewed it but as soon as i saw the concealer was out i was like I need to review this. I've had so many requests to try this out and I really hope I got the right shade. We're using daylight today so you're gonna see it in its truest form and we're gonna put it to the test. So I'm on the Makeup by Mario website and it says that this foundation is gonna hydrate the skin for 12 hours. It glides on easily for customizable coverage. Layer it on or share it out. It's a buildable formula. It has powders and creams to recreate Mar Mario's signature techniques while staying true to its original color. And it's available in 30 shades and the shade range is not too bad actually. I do really like the shade range. I really struggled. I didn't know if I wanted 17N or 15N and I actually went with 15N because I watched a bunch of reviews at first i thought maybe it's going to be too light but i am on the paler side at the moment and also foundation.com matched me to this head to like the other foundation shades that i use and nars light reflecting foundation in aruba is like my skin tone in a bottle so when i compare it to that it was saying 15n so yeah so let me just move my hair out of the way i'm just gonna hydrate my skin i don't mind this setup for foundation reviews guys but this is the foundation. Usually they say that like there's little flecks in it. But I don't really see anything. But the foundation looks good. Anyways, let's give this a go. Is it going to be light? I don't know. But it looks like a good match. Where? Where did it go? This is my skin tone in the bottle, people. It's got that nice oliviness to it. Okay. Oh my god. I love it when I get a good foundation matte blend this out i'm gonna use my beauty blender because that's what i love <gasps> guys this looks so good right now wow it's literally my perfect shade where where did it go where did it go that blended so nicely it looks like skin i'm literally obsessed with that right now because to be honest with you like i really like for every day i really like my foundation to be just almost undetectable and this just feels really lightweight the shade match is like i think i'm just really shocked right now at it because i didn't even know like if it was going to be right or not and when i'm paying so much like i think my order came to like 100 but it's just my skin tone in a bottle and i love i'm gonna cover a bit here because my, my mouth area has been a bit weird oh my god I don't even need to put it down my neck because it's that good of a mat. Stop it. I look youthful. I look healthy. The glow. Okay, let's waste no time because I'm really excited. <laughs> I've got the concealer in 280. Apparently, this concealer is supposed to be really, really good. So this is what the concealer looks like. Very simple packaging. It visibly lifts, blurs, and brightens the under eyes. It's caffeine infused, which depuffs, tightens, and smooths. And it has 22 shades, crease proof and long wearing. We're really going to put that to the test. So I got, what did I get? 280 peach, I think. Because I wanted a bit of brightness, you know. I think this is going to be the perfect shade for concealer. For me, this is what the doe foot applicator looks like. Like a flat doe foot applicator. I'm going to put this on. Oh. It's a bit on the lighter side, but I'm, I'm not mad at it. Oh, that's applying so nicely. Okay. When I blend out concealer, I know when one's good. Like the way it feels when I'm blending and the coverage it's giving, it's literally melting into my skin. The shade is immaculate. I don't know, I got lucky, you know? I did really good with the shade. You didn't need that much, to be honest. You don't need that much. I'm just gonna try and blend this out as best as I can. I mean, I know I'm like proper hyping this up right now, but it's because it looks good. I'm literally all up in your face right now in daylight. This is just speaking for itself right now. It looks so good. Let me do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, I just finished the rest of my makeup and <gasps> guys, this looks so good. I think this has to be my favorite that I've had in a while. I really need to sort these brows up. I'm using the Charlotte Tilbury Glowy Blush, which is why there's a bit of a glow on my cheeks, but everywhere else looks pretty good. Can I just say the concealer? I don't know what it is, but it blended so nicely and 
it looks really nice under the eyes and i've been getting more lines under my eyes so like i'm really like iffy when it comes to concealer now but this looks really good um the foundation is just beautiful the only thing i'm noticing is slight smile lines already but i already i have really deep set smile lines so most foundations give it to me anyways but let's see what this looks like i did put a lot I try not to put too much around my mouth and today I feel like I did put a little bit more. Overall, I really like this. I don't have anything bad to say for now. It looks so good. So yeah, I'm going to wear this for the rest of the day. It just hit 12, 24, so I'm going to try and wear this to around 6-ish. I can't stop looking at my skin because it looks that nice. It's like glowy but not overly glowy. It does feel a little bit sticky but it's not like transferring a lot like the house labs one did so i'm gonna head out and i'll catch up with you guys later to see how this looks like all right guys it's just about seven i'm gonna check out this video now but to be honest i have nothing bad to say about the foundation or concealer it's so good um the concealer i don't know if you guys can tell it looks intact it blurs and it smooths like the concealer is what really stands out and then the foundation is just gorgeous i do have a little bit of smile lines as you can tell but i'll probably put less product around my mouth but that is the only downside so i would probably give it a good solid 9 out of 10 and like a 10 10 for the concealer because it looks so good and the shade match is there i just literally look like i've just put my makeup on so i'm i rate this it's so good so yeah i hope you found this review helpful let me know what else i should try out let me know if we are shade twins in the comments below and i will see you in my next one bye guys